Okay, so it wants us to be able to go through this material and try to fill in the blanks. So I'm going to first hop on R2. Okay, make sure I type in the right password. And then using a combination of different show commands, we're going to figure out what things go where. So on R2, first of all, let's go ahead and let's do a show, show IP and brief. So for our gigabit zero, our address is 245. The next one gigabit, sorry, fast ethernet zero one. 49. For uh, gigabit ethernet zero two. 2. And we have to then figure out the appropriate connecting devices to them. So let's go ahead and get the subnet mask. So I want to do a show run. You know what? I They don't want me to do show run. They want me to do show interfaces. Let's look at the first one. All right, so I did a show interface G0, the address slash 30. I want to do the same thing for G01. Again, it's a slash 30. I wanted to do the same thing for 02. This time it's a slash 24. So, looking at this diagram, realistically, I'm leaning towards these two connections will probably be gigabit zero zero and zero one and the centralized server will be the item connected on ten 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 one. So let's test that by going to the server and doing an IP config. Oh and I was correct. So connected device central server We can go to D1 and D2. Show IP and brief. So we are looking at this guy right here is this network. So D1 and the interface is, so this is NIC1. This should be gigabit zero one. So that means that this has to be D2. I will do another show IP and brief. And I'm looking for something, this network range, which happens to be this guy right here, which is again, gigabit zero slash one. All right, so now that we have that basic information, we can go to switch three, which we know this is connecting to R2, 
and it should be connecting to R2 on that interface. So centralized server, which we already know is 10.10.10.2 slash 24. It's connecting to switch three on port F01. So that frees up that. Here we have the information for D1. So I'm gonna go open up D1 again. Nice thing is I just did my show uh, IP interface brief. So this guy is already up. So let's go ahead and do fast ethernet zero and one first. Two forty six. Here we have a ten dot two five four. We already know that this is a slash thirty. We know that because this is connected to R two, and this is connected to its gigabit zero slash zero interface. So there are no addresses here. So how do we know what they're connected to? That's all right. Let's go ahead and let's worry about show interface gigabit two. Let's look at its IP address. Show interface gigabit zero two. It's showing up, it's showing reliable, but it is not showing it I its IP address. Even though we do see it up here that it has an IP address. D1. All right, at that point, that's all right. I will just do a show run. Oh, it is also a slash 30. And this should be connecting to D2. I do not know what interface just yet. These should be connecting to a combination of switch one and switch two in the diagram. The network is not stating which one, so I'm just gonna mouse over to see. All right, so that's kind of being a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna do a more drastic measure. I'm going to navigate to interface FA fast ethernet zero slash 23. And I'm going to turn it off. So on D1, it's 23 connects to switch 2, which that does mean that switch one has to connect to port 21. I'll turn it back on. Turn it back on, that way those things are now back active again. So we know some parts of information we know that these are being connected to uh, 
those devices, but we don't know what interfaces they're connecting to. So let's go ahead and log into Switch 2 so we can figure out these guys. Big T. First thing I want to do, honestly, is interface FA zero slash twenty three. I'm just going to turn it off. Make this a little bit easier. This can is connecting to D two. Turn it back on. So that means in this realm, this is connecting to D1. All right, D1 is connecting to switch one via that port right there. So that's zero one. And this will be F0 slash 24. So I believe switch one is almost taken care of. Let's go ahead and move on to D2. D2, actually, we already did our show run there. So we should be able to quickly pull up the address information. Two, five, three. All right, so with that information, we know that they're gonna be connecting to switch two will connect to R2, D1, switch one, and switch two. So we already know that this guy is connecting to the appropriate switch. So switch one is taken care of. So all we have to do is figure out the other three devices, switch two, D1, and R2. So R2 up here, we know that it connects to D2's G1. So D2, G1 connects to R2, G01. And this is a slash 30. And this is a slash 30. I don't know this network just yet, but I have a feeling it's probably going to be a slash 24. So that means next we'll be looking what connects here. Looking at the IP address, I will probably notice that it is very similar to this guy right here. So this connects to D1. Gigabit zero two. Up here, this one connects to gigabit zero two. So we're getting close to being done. So we know that this is going to be switch one. That we don't know the rest of this information. So let's hop on switch two. To log into it, let's go ahead and go to configure interface g0 slash 1, shut down. So this connects to d2, this connects to s1. So that gives us enough information to finish filling out the rest of this chart.
that is a slash 24 that goes with the rest of them so all right so let's look at switch 2 so switch 2 connects s1 on its port there so let's go up to s1 it connects to d2 on that guy All right, so it connects to D2 on this port. Let's go up to D2, and it connects to S2 on that port. And so it connects to D2 on Fast Ethernet 024. And then the last one there, the that link. And that's how we do it. It's, it's a slow and tedious thing, but we just go link by link by link. Thank you.